Phantom Intruder. A digital ghost has breached my defenses and my sensitive data has been stolen. Your mission is to uncover how this Phantom Intruder infiltrated my system and retrieve the hidden flag. You'll need to analyze the provided PCAP, track down the attack method. The attacker has cleverly concealed his moves in a well-timely manner. Dive into the network traffic, apply the right filters, and show off your forensic prowess. Find the PCAP file here. Let's see. Filter your packets to narrow your search. Attacks were done in a timely manner. Time is essential. Okay, there's a lot of emphasis on time going on here. So let's download that file. It's a PCAP, so we can open that in Wireshark. All right, so we have a bunch of weird looking data here. Well, they certainly emphasize time a lot. So let's uh, order these things by time. Maybe we'll start at time zero. Okay, what do we got? So, um, all right, so this packet ends in 3D, 3D. That's an equal sign on the ASCII table. So maybe this is some base 64 encoded stuff. So let's just copy these values. Stick them over here in Notepad. 65. Keep copying the values. I don't like the payload. Ah, pay oh no, what just happened? Two, three. Payload. Copy. Value. Three, four, three, four, five, and then this one four bytes. Okay, so if I'm right, all this hex is going to be ASCII that's base64 encoded. So let's go hex to ASCII. Yeah, so I see a bunch of strings with these double equals. Let's throw them in a base64 decoder. Decode each line separately, so I'll insert some line feeds here. Decode. Right, so that looks like it looks like a flag, but it looks like it's beginning. I'm missing that um, Pico CTF at the beginning. So let's go back here. Maybe we'll just grab this packet. Copy that value, throw that up top, and if we come back here we can put that at the beginning, grab that one. Yeah, okay, so that's going to be the whole flag. We can copy that, I'll put it back here, get rid of those extra line feeds. Um, so that'll be Pico CTF. It wasn't that easy, uh, TBH, to be honest. Uh, and then we'll get this, I don't know what the four R is, and then this big long hex string. All right, there we go.